Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. And today we'll look at upgrading an Apple IIc from a ROM 255 to a ROM 0. So let's get started. Okay, as you may recall from an earlier episode, uh, I did a show where I uh, demonstrated how to replace some of the RAM chips on an Apple IIc. Um, this is the board right here. Unfortunately, when I was at Kansas Fest, uh, this Apple IIc board developed another glitch. Um, and I was never able to trace what's wrong with it. Um, I tried swapping out all of the socketed chips. I tried uh, replacing more of the RAM chips. Uh, I replaced the crystal. And nothing seemed to really help. It just The screen is just filled with gibberish. So I went ahead and ordered another board off of eBay. Uh, and that's this one right here. And I thought it was going to be the same uh, ROM version, uh, just from looking at the pictures, but it turned out that this is actually an older one. It's a ROM 255, uh, whereas the one that I had was a ROM 0. Uh, so some research online showed that it's actually pretty easy to upgrade. And because I had the, um, the ROM chip from the uh, broken motherboard, um, I knew that, that actually that ROM chip was okay because I had tested it in a different Apple IIc board while at Kansas Fest. Uh, so I knew I had the, the upgraded uh, ROM Zero chip, and so all I needed to do was just do a couple quick modifications on the motherboard um, and then pop in the new ROM chip. So if we look really closely, there's two points, and they're labeled W1 and W2. W1 is just to the left of the ROM, and then W2 is just above the MMU chip. Um, and all you need to do for these, to upgrade from the older ROM 255 to the ROM 0, is to just scrape away the solder on W1, so you can see what used to be uh, a complete solder pad there covering both sides of W1. I've scraped away half of it, so there's no longer electrical contact between the two. And then on W2, you just need to bridge that. And all this does is the original ROM 255 chip, uh, which is actually now here, um, is actually only a uh, 128 uh, kilobit chip, whereas the new one, uh, which I've now put in, is a 256 kilobit and so by changing those two uh, points the W1 and the W2 uh, you're actually just changing where the uh, the pins um, intersect the, uh, the the ROM chip so it's basically just changing around some of the pin configurations so now that we've got the uh, the solder points all modified all we need to do was swap out the uh, the ROM chip the old ROM 255 to the new ROM 0 and we can fire it up and see what happens. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on and make sure everything looks good. So it comes on, we've got a prompt, or uh, we've got the correct uh, screen at the top, and there's the prompt, and we do print peak of 64447. Uh, which is the special location to tell us uh, what it is and sure enough we get a zero so this is indeed a ROM zero uh, just for confirmation and to make sure everything is okay uh, we can also do the self test and to do this you hold down the open apple and closed apple keys and then just turn the computer on while you're doing that and so we'll go ahead and do that and I'll just zoom in in a minute once I've turned the computer on and you can see it comes up and it's going to go ahead and do the self test and then assuming that everything's okay and it checks out all the uh, ROM and the RAM it will give me um, confirmation of that and so this is an easy fix to upgrade from a ROM 255 to a ROM 0 um, it fixes a few things in the the system monitor, it also gives you the diagnostic self-test. Uh, there's a few other enhancements in the, the system ROM. Um, and so I'd recommend, and there it is, system. Okay, so I'd recommend if you have a ROM 255 Apple IIc, uh, you still have to get the, uh, the new chip. That's the only tricky part is locating uh, a ROM 0 chip. 
I just happen to have an extra one from my dead board, but uh, they're available online. Just look on eBay. And so that's it. Thanks for watching.